flavor. It's like really famous Finnish drink, like lonkero. You need to have it. So this is it. I found the salmiaki ice cream. Ooh. Yeah. I actually haven't had that. Right. Because that is really like salmi. It's not like really, really salmi stuff. Oh, it's starting to melt already. Yeah, that's why I was wondering like, if you need to eat it now. Oh, the shape. It's even in the right shape. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now you have to start from the bottom that the crust don't like mm. fall. I don't want it to drip in there. Yeah. Fancy sponsor. <laughs> the <laughs> fancy yeah. sponsor. So, <laughs> so good. Oh, is it? Oh. Um. It's almost like, I always liked the Tiger Tiger ice cream. What is that? That's, uh, or would you say that it would be orange with that? Kind of swirled in it. Yeah, it has a like a almost it, is it like a sherbet, and then it has a, a black licorice mix in it. But it's not the salmiakki. Yeah, yeah, because licorice is a totally different thing than the salmiakki. Yeah, big piece. Oh, you know I, I can <laughs> have it every day if I like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not though. <laughs> But there's the, this salmiaki is one of the most famous ones. Yeah. And then there's like um, uh, three. There's a bag. There's like a bag which has three different kinds. And there's like the really good ones. There's like a softer ones and then the like harder ones. Yeah. It actually makes makes a difference when I put the link on. Mm. Then I can change the lines. Yeah, lets you yeah. change the lines. Yeah. It's easier. Right okay. there. Life goals. <laughs> That was quick. I'm good. I I've go. never seen anyone have it that quick. <laughs> you haven't seen me in ice cream here. Oh That's my it. god. That was like less than two minutes. Yep. I wow. took my time. I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> you were enjoying yourself. <laughs> mm. Oh. That was so good. Well, now, how, how many nights are you going to spend here? How many those you can have? Uh, three a day. <laughs> two, two weeks. It's, it's going to be quite a few. It's kind of surreal to think that in a few days that I might actually run into that person that uh, that I might spend the rest of my life with. A little nervous about that fact, but uh, also a little excited. This is my room. I just walked in, dropped my bag off, took a quick look around, and I got to show you this. This. This is okay. But this is what you gotta see. This is the upstairs. And I turned the lights off so it could be a surprise. Ta da! The toilet. No, that's not it. Just wait. Can you see it? There's a sauna in my hotel room. <laughs> and I already turned it on, I think. All right, what's this? Uh, unplug. At the afternoon off, we're doing some other filming with two of the guys. And then this afternoon, it's me and Mufasa. Let's say it again. Lion King. But uh, yeah, so this afternoon or this evening after dinner, then me and Mufasa are doing our part. So I figured I had a couple hours. I just messed up. I had a few hours, so I took a little walk into town. Not a bad truck. Almost two hours. Beautiful, beautiful country. And I know right now I'm walking through a golf course, so it's all manicured and nice lawns and everything, but even when I was past all that, it was still very beautiful. I took a, I took a few pictures, some of the homes. So really cool mushrooms. The homes were really neat. Some of the old fences things like that that I thought looked really cool interesting 
So I've got some shots of that. For keep's sake. Figured I'm gonna, this is a trip of a lifetime right now. And I know I don't wanna waste time taking pictures. And, but then it's not a waste of time when you bring all those memories home with you. And years from now, you'll be able to look back on them and really appreciate them and enjoy them. This is where we're staying. I believe these used to be the stable area of this uh, castle. I haven't read the history of it yet, but I'll definitely look it up after the fact. However, I took a little march into town and I got a little surprise treat for the boys tonight after a hard day's work so we'll pick it up after you move your hand okay one two three out okay mm. you're fat <laughs> okay i'm so fat oh. <laughs> he is dead he, 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 he should come help me, your son is no, 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 wait, wait. Put your... Stefan, put him in the floor, please. Uh, it will work very good. Inspirate and exhalate. I don't know English. Yeah, I'm not English. Put him in the floor. Yeah. Floor will work very much. Okay, lay down on, on mm. the side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Like, like yes, this is yeah, uh, no. Ottoman bullshit. Oh, Be nice, that. gentle. It's very nice. It's I that Sultan Harim bullshit. This is Turkish bull. No, <laughs> this aroma trap. Why, 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 what aroma? You're hitting me. It's, uh, it's like. <laughs> why does it look like this? Roy's culinary adventure continues. It is Thursday evening and I just had a nice walk around Helsinki, ate some amazing bolla and drank more coffee. And I stopped at the grocery store to pick up some galia, makkara. I had one already. They're good. Peruna pirica. I'm not sure which one this is. Maxalatiko. Haven't had this. Haven't had this since. I can't remember the last time I had this. So, Maxalatiko from the grocery store is something I've never had in my life. My mother always made it. She never ate it, but she made it. Raspberry tarts for dessert. I think the raspberry. Yes. Salmiyaki. 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 So as I sit here and enjoy this fabulous meal, I'm into the raspberry tart now. It's very good. It has the pink frosting and the cream and some raspberry jam on the bottom. Anyways, my evening entertainment. The TV wasn't working, so I sat here, ate my fabulous supper while watching all the people in 24-hour fitness work off their raspberry tarts. It's quite entertaining. I should probably go for a run in the morning. I picked up a bunch of postcards while I was here, and then... Um, about every day, just writing a quick note to my son and dropping it in the mail. I'll probably be home before he gets a lot of the postcards. But, like I said, who doesn't like getting mail? And postcards, it's just nice mementos. Because I'm never going to get a picture taken that's that good. Or that good. So why not send... A couple postcards with the nice pictures. So, I'm going to write this postcard. Then I got another adventure left for today. 
So I check into the hotel and I asked them if the sauna was booked for this evening. And they said, yes, it was booked. But down the road in this new neighborhood, there's a public sauna called Ulsi Sauna. So I figured after that uh, fantastic meal of uh, K-Mark and Maxalatico and Makara, I needed a little sauna to relax. So that was my very first public sauna experience. What a great evening. Just popped into the Ulsi sauna. Had a great sauna very warm uh, totally refreshed and relaxed I'm gonna go back and sleep like a baby but and what a gorgeous evening I don't know what the uh, I don't know how the weather forecast here worked but every time I look at the weather it's calling for overcast and rain and cold so far we've had fantastic weather as far as I'm concerned like, look at this evening. There's a few clouds. You can see the moon going into Ulsi Sauna here. You know, to, uh, it was kind of a, it's kind of an odd uh, concept to just be sitting around in the cafe and uh, the bar, you know, having a beer and, and you know, half the, half the people in there, men and women are just sitting there in a towel having a beer. <laughs> you don't, uh, you don't see that in North America but it was perfectly normal. And uh, yeah, it's great to be back. If there's a, now if there's ever been a most, excuse me, now if there has ever been a most perfect post sauna snack, it would be a beer and some makka. Life is good. Keep peace.